Hey guys, it's me. Um, I'm doing my comic book collection. It's not like my complete one because obviously with Comic Con coming up, I'm gonna be getting more because I give out free comics. Um, and I plan to order some to complete some of my series that I really want to um, complete. So these are in no order whatsoever at all. Um, so plus I'm really repacking them because like um, some of them are in like with the back, um, the plastic with the background with the cardboard background, and some of them aren't like my newer ones that I got last year aren't because I never got a chance to put them in there because like literally right after Comic Con I moved. So um, yeah, I gotta get the, like the backs and the plastic, and then I'm packing them because the slot that they were in is now taken over by nail polish. So until I get another one. Of the leather cases for it. So the first one is the Territory issue 4 out of 4. Um, it's from Dark Horse Comics. I don't know, if, I think I got this from Comic Con on that one, my first Comic Con, I'm not sure. I know what it looks like. I have not read any of these. I think I read one, but I don't know, I can't remember which one it is. That's a good one. Like, I was skimming through one while Kane was, when I lived, well, when Kane lived here, when he was filming for his stupid channel, I read one, just skimming through it, just to pass the time. Ooh, that one. Another, this is Territory 3 out of 4. I think I have all four of these. Not sure. The first one was called the Temple. Of, well, the fourth one is called the Temple of Truth. The third one's called the Missing Target. This one is two out of four. Um, this one's called Prey of the Robot Master. That's what it looks like. Some of these do have like have naked on them. And this one's issue number two <coughs> of Underworld, Red in Tooth and Claw. Sorry for the glare. I'm not seeing a lot of the plastic because it's a bitch together. This one was like, this one's really thick. This one's thick. I'll forget one more. This one's called Stia's Inferno, number two. Stuff so scary you'll all get upset. This one's number two. This one is the first one. <laughs> So, obviously, all first issues are worth of so much money. Here's some done. This one is Bloody Bones and Black Eyed Peas from Galaxy Comics. This is issue number one, plus the Duke King. Like, I got a lot of these just because they looked cool. Not because, like, I'm actually going to read them. Here are I don't like you when you're on the floor. Come on. I know these give you the toots. And Grandpa doesn't like it. Peepaw. Because he doesn't like being called Grandpa. We have to call him Peepaw. And this one is Dead Boy Detectives from Pages of the Sandman. This is issue number three. And it kind of remember, reminded me of the Venture Brothers, kind of. This one is Gross, oh, Cross Gen Sampler. This is issue number. There's no issue on it. This one might be backwards, I'm not sure. There's like no issue number on it or anything, so I'm kind of like curious. Mm -hmm. We have Cross Gen Chronicles 1 and the first three issues of any one of our four monthly titles. So this is just, I guess this is like just like a sampler of like their comics, I guess.
So that's why it's called Sampler because it's just like a sample of some of their products. Again, a lot of these, majority of them, like 99% of them, I got for free at either last year's Comic Con or the Comic Con before that. So I ain't complaining. Um, this one's called Lucifer, and this is number three out of three. This one's Unleash, the Collector's Universe, issue number two hundred. No, issue number one, and this is the Collector's Universe number two two five seven one out of two eight two hundred eighty thousand. Twenty eight thousand. Jesus Christ. But yeah, this is issue number one called Unleashed, and I got that because like that would be like a sick ass tattoo. This one is called Broken Trinity, Pandora's Box, issue number two, cover A. So this one had variant covers. I think cover B might be on the back. I'm not sure. This one is called The Dreamland Chronicles, number six. This, ooh, this one's called, oh yeah, this is the one that I, is this the one that I looked at? No, this one I just, okay, that one. I'm going to do like the ones that are in plastic and then the ones that are not. This one's called The Witching, issue two. These I got from Comic Con. This one's The Witching. Issue number three. These are not in any fucking order, <laughs> as you can tell. This one's ish, um, issue number four, The Witching. This one is Shuriken. Issue number one from 1985. I got that because like I'm obsessed with like the Japanese culture and it was beautiful. Who will be final girl? From Alpha Manga, this is issue number two, and I like it because I like their eyes. So, yeah. This one is called Eden's Trial. This is issue number two from Marvel, the direct edition. So this one's weird. It reads like this instead of like this. Oh, like this. It reads like this. But I think this one is cool. This one's called Spybox Manga, The Manga Affair, and this is issue number 13.1, I guess. So I think this might be like issue 13, cover number one, I guess. I don't know, I don't know how to read that. So any comic book nerds tell me. Where's that? The Reigns, I think that's how it's pronounced, of Terror. Issue two out of four. I don't know how to pronounce that. So I'm just gonna read. This is the Rings of Terror. Issue number one out of four. Okay, and this is the one that I was reading, like skipping through. I don't know. I have a couple more that are in plastic. Okay. Any more in plastic? No. This is this one I actually bought myself at the comic book store near where I lived with Jerry. This is Vampirella issue Streets of Fire issue. I don't know. There's no issue on this one. There's that one because I'm obsessed with Vampirella. I always thought she was attractive. And then these ones I bought because they were cute. And they remind me of Invader Zim. This is Outwood Grimm issue number six and issue number four. I plan to get the entire series out of this. Six and four. I'm going to get the entire series, but obviously it reminds me of Invaders and the Happy Tree Friends, so. Okay, and then these are the ones that don't have plastic yet that I got last year. American McGee's Grimm. This is issue number two, cover A. So it's kind of like along the lines of this, but a completely different series. The this is the one that I was kind of skimming through when King was here. This is issue number one, Age of Darkness, Grim Fairy Tales, Presents Neverland. 
This one's basically kind of like a play on Peter Pan because that's supposed to be Tinkerbell. And that's Captain Hook. Literally with the same names. I mean, there's Robin Hood. There's the Clash of Queens where there's Harley Quinn, the Red Queen. So. That's supposed to be like Wonder Woman, I think. This one's called Deja Thoris and the Green Men of Mars, number five. I got that because like that would be like a cool tattoo, obviously, if you fix her boobs. I have no clue what this is about. So. This one's called Trick or Treat with Nova and the X-Kids. This is Nova. This is issue number 22 from Marvel. This is Gotham by Midnight, and this is issue number 10. Reminds me of American Horror Story. This is the Titans Mommy Dearest, issue number 34, The Joker Last Laugh. So this has something to do with the Joker. The Victories, issue number 6. Veil issue number five. Helsing issue four. Nailbiter issue twelve. Nailbiter issue ten. Nailbiter issue nine. Like, he's trying not, like, he wants to hit the children. Nailbiter, issue three. Nailbiter, issue eleven. Hunters, the Shadowlands, issue three. No, issue three, cover B. The Hunters of Shadowland issue 5, cover C. The Hunters issue 5, cover B. So this is cover C. And then this is cover B. Oh, oh how far are you? I'm getting like blown up. Go away. Okay, you're annoying. This is Inferno Rings of Hell, issue one, cover A. This is issue one of three. And then this is the same one, issue one, but this is cover B. I think it's like the same. Yeah, it's like the same book, but just different covers. So, yeah, that's like my comic book collection for now. Um, obviously, after Comic Con this year, there's going to be more. And, um, me and some of my friends might go, well, my one friend from work might go to the comic book store. So, I plan to get more comics. Um, I really, the only ones that I want to read are, like, the Grim ones, like, the Grim Outlook ones and the Vampirella one. But other than that, I just get them because they're cute. Like, they're good looking or the possible tattoos. Yeah, so that's it. So until next time. Bye guys.